The bad weather threatened to wipe out this one as well, but after some frantic work by the McDermott Park Grand Staff, the pitch passed a late inspection, an hour before kickoff. St Johnston created the only real chance of a poor first half spoiled by the elements. McQuillan made progress down the wing and fired in the cross. Philip Scott laid the ball off to Alan Preston, not far away with the low drive. The game came to life 15 minutes into the second half when St Johnston opened the scoring. Jenkinson's low cross went all the way to Philip Scott, but he rolled it past Ian McFarlane and the Bankies go. A perfect ball from Jenkinson catching out the Clyde Bank defence and a composed finish with a little help from a Clyde Bank defender. The visitors continue to battle though and try to use the win to their advantage. Brannigan's header almost beating Alan Main. The gale force wind and driving rain really ruined this contest. Gary Teal's efforts to take this corner kick, demonstrating the task faced by the players. Both sides soldiered on though as Clyde Banks searched for the equaliser. Scott Miller showed some nice close control here, but he couldn't finish it off. The last chance though fell to the home side. The ball produced a sharp turn, but a not so sharp finish. St Johnston march on.